Hello and welcome back to Hard Reset Info. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use AI on Samsung Galaxy A36. Let's begin! Now, there are many AI powered features on this Samsung. Obviously, the list is not as big as on its older brother from the S series, though the A series still stands its ground. And uh, we can see the old, uh, all of the AI features. If we go to the settings, scroll down and find advanced features. In here, we simply click the very first option, intelligent features, and we should see nice uh, list of uh, intelligent features. We are not going to get each uh, and every one. Uh, however, I think I will showcase you probably the most interesting ones. Um, the very first one I want to showcase uh, is the Bixby Vision uh, for object recognition. Uh, we can enable, enable her if we go to accessibility. Uh, vision enhancements, scroll all the way down and Bixby Vision for accessibility. In here we have the very first option show Bixby Vision on app screen and also show shutter button. Uh, if you want to use her I would advise you to uh, enable both of these options as it will create the Bixby Vision shortcut and also it will let you uh, choose when you want to identify objects. Um, let's say I want I want to identify my little plant here So I can now enable object identifier by playing the plus and I, by pressing the play and now it should automatically identify Oh, it did detect that nice uh, It should automatically identify each I don't think it's a cactus, but Oh, that's more like it. And also, here is the logo. Uh, that's a really SD card, but sure. We can also have a scene describer, though this works just like the shutter button, so it won't describe everything um, on screen. Though you can, you could enable that by disabling the shutter button. Uh, so let's say I will, I will just take this plant and do a photo of it. And let's see how. Yeah, it's working pretty good. Uh, we could also, let's say, try this one last time with a logo here. Uh, maybe I will break it this time, so... Wow, it's more intelligent. Uh, in the video before, when I was recording the Bixby, uh, it actually said something about bottle opener or a hair accessory But yeah, as you can see the Bixby is improving every single day, which is pretty nice um, And the other very cool feature that I want to showcase you uh, Is the scene optimizer for the camera uh, I think it can be enabled if we go right here. Oh As you can see it is even the very first option Mm, from the intelligent features list. As you can see, it will automatically optimize the color and contrast of the pictures to make the dark scenes look brighter, food look tastier, and landscapes look more vivid. It's hard to showcase you this. Uh, I could, you know, just take a photo and hey, the colors are slightly different. Though it is really hard to notice. Mm, and really hard to... Um, I mean, the photo looks great, what can I say? Uh, though it's hard to really like spot any AI related thing as it is just, you know, color correction uh, in a way. Um, but let's do another photo with our little logos here. So I'm going to do uh, this. And we have a nice looking logo. But let's oh, <laughs> but let's say I don't really like mm, this little uh, phone pad right here, or I don't like this green logo on the right. Uh, we can remove it. I'm going to just readjust the phone here and the whole scene, 
and we can remove it using AI Power Generated Object Remover or Object Eraser. We can enable it by going into Pencil icon, uh, then going to the far right option, these four dots here, and here we have Object Eraser. So now after a while, after it analyzes and scene, we can press the Erase Shadows, Erase Reflections, or we can lasso something that we want to erase. Uh, so let's say I want to erase this thing. So let me quickly erase that. It did uh, capture the size and the shape, so we'll hit Erase. And voila! As you can see, it's working really good. And let's hit Done. Let's hit Save Copy. As you can see, here is the before and after. And this tool is really powerful, but only with very simple shapes and on very simple backgrounds. And let's say we'll go back to our, my hand holding a potted plant. And let's go back to the object eraser and let's do something really complicated like let's try to remove the plant from my hand. Um, the AI will struggle a bit, and by struggle I mean it will create very weird things, it will remove my fingers probably, because there's only one, two and three fingers. Maybe it will add a third one, or a fourth one maybe, um, but let's try to just lasso it. Oh, I, the lasso is not working. Okay, it's not working. Uh, so let's try to lasso it. It did detect the shape, so we are halfway there, and let's hit Erase. And... I, it did not add any fingers, unfortunately. Um, let's just hit Done. We could also try to, like, lasso the dark spot here. Maybe it will detect it. Oh, it... What did you detect? It will, will you, like, delete? Oh, oh, that looks, that looks honestly sad. I'm going to uh, undo this. I'm going to hit down and let's save this as a copy. And as you can see, uh, this is, okay, this is actually from the video before of also removing my uh, potted plant. And this is from uh, seconds ago. So as you can see, uh, the AI featured power tools are great with simple things. Uh, the, big, the Bixby Vision, for example, will struggle in describing anything more uh, descriptive. Uh, you won't get a big amount of uh, details from her or anything concrete, to be honest, anything specific. Mm, instead, she will just vaguely tell you, oh, hey, here's the plant in the pot. But what is this pot? What is the plant? Is the pot like... Uh, what's the shape of it? What's the shape of the plant? What's the color of it? Uh, I'm guessing that these features will be improved later, especially the, the object eraser, though. To be fair, uh, even human would have trouble deleting the spotted plant. Um, and let's, yeah, the AI is pretty good for simple tasks, like, for example, deleting something from a white background. But for anything more specific, uh, for anything harder, it, it struggles. Like, there's no point of hiding that it does struggle a lot. But yeah, anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you learned how to use some of the cool AI Samsung Galaxy A36 features and if you found it useful please remember to like and subscribe thanks for watching